All right, what is going on, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? The ACMJ's gamer here. Today we are here to talk about Starfield. I should have included this in the other video. However, I had not seen the Bethesda Constellation Questions video yet, so I didn't know this was in there. Um, just something to think about in terms of the gameplay, the dialogue that they just released. Um, here we have a we're in a cutscene with the character, and um, I'm assuming that these are pirates and that they're raiding us. Um, and we have three dialogue options. We can try to persuade them where there's no treasure in my ship. Cut your losses before more people get hurt. Attack. Time to make the settled systems a safer place. Or I don't suppose we can just agree to disagree. No hard feelings. Um, and so this person chooses to try to persuade. And when they do, there's some interesting things that pop up. As you can see here in the lower left uh, corner we have persuasion and it looks like we have four bars and it looks like we have zero out of three turns and then we have a whole host of options along with some colors and points so we have a uh, green plus one if you have it wrong constellation is an explorers group they aren't treasure hunters we have yellow plus three hey if you want to trade ships that sounds good to me the frontier creaks when it turns anyways uh, yellow plus four, I mean, if you want to embarrass yourself, go right ahead. And then red plus five, which is just make it past your entire crew. You really want to try your luck against me. So the interesting thing is, right, if we have three turns and there are four bars, the question I have is what happens when we reach four bars? What happens when we go over four bars? And what I mean by that is there is a yellow plus four. Um, so don't know, we, we don't know what that means when you reach the full meter. Um, and then we have red plus five. So what happens when you go over the meter? Um, you know, you could try and theorize. We don't really know. I'm, ass excuse me, I'm assuming that for different people or different interactions, there might be more bars. And that's why they have... Uh, more points that go over the bar limit if it is only four bars and you hit plus five maybe it backfires on you and uh you end up with a different dialogue tree or maybe you end up having to fight them anyways who knows um the reason i say that is because if you picked a yellow plus three and it didn't work well you could do green plus one and that would also fill out the bar. You could also do yellow plus four, and that would fill out the bar. Um, I mean, I we, we don't really know how this system works. I'm hoping, you know, obviously they will uh, let us in on the insight when the game comes out. But that's just something to think about. I'll let you guys um, see what happens. Um, this guy, he picks yellow plus three. We see the bars fill out. We see the turns go down. And we don't really see anything else. Um, you do see uh, right here where it says auto persuade, this little meter fills up. So it's very interesting to see how that will work. I am wondering if the amount of bars that are filled up in the bottom left, I wonder if those give you points towards auto persuade, which would be very a very interesting concept if you build up points into it and that's the only purpose. But at the same time, I wonder if you have to weigh, if you really want to do that, I'm, I'm assuming you would have to weigh um, between how many points you want to get in your auto persuade and um, the different types of dialogue interaction with the character. Like if you do red plus five, is that going to make him mad? You might get more points towards your auto persuade, but you're going to make that character mad. So who knows? Um... That is it for this video. I can't wait to play Starfield. Um, as I said in the last video, we got one more Let's Play through uh, this year, which is going to be God of War Ragnarok. It's going to be my end of the year shebang. Um, next year, definitely looking forward to playing through um, Starfield. Definitely looking forward to playing through Jedi Survivor. Um, I think, or and Mirage. Uh, I think those are the only few games that are coming out that I'm genuinely interested in recording for the channel. But uh, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.